In this video, I would like to review creating lists from your mobile app. I'm currently logged in and in the list section. Now, most of your lists are going to have a schedule and they'll display automatically based on the time set within the settings of that list template. But some lists are gonna be needed on demand. And in that case, you'll come down here to the plus button at the bottom and this will give you a list of all of the available list templates based on your permissions and the roles the list has been assigned to. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this car wash damage incident report. Um, this is also used pretty commonly for things like audits or inspections as well as uh, employee write-ups or any other kind of incident report that you may need. When you select the list, it will default to display right now and then within your list settings, you'll have the ability to set a default deadline and expiration on each of your templates, but I can also adjust this. So I do want to complete it now. I don't necessarily need to schedule this for tomorrow morning, for example, like maybe I'm going to come do an audit tomorrow, then I can schedule it so it's there waiting for me. And if I wanted to, all you would do is select where it says due, and you have time intervals, or you can set it for a specific time. So you have either option available as well as when the list is going to expire or drop off the device. You also have a time interval or you can set it to a specific time. Now you can remove the deadline, but it will have to expire. So you'll set that expiration to whatever point you may need. You also have the ability to assign the list to a specific individual. This is really great if you're doing employee training through the Jolt system and you've got a new hire coming on, you wanna begin that training course with them. You can come here and assign it to a specific individual. And then that individual will be the only one to see it unless you're managing the list. And then you can see it when you're in that manage section. From here, I'm just gonna select create. And now it's pulled up that list for me so I can start filling out the information needed for this damage claim. Most cases, this is what you're going to use. It's just manually pulling up one of your list templates on demand as needed. One other option though that is really nice to have is under the plus button, you have another plus button. This is where you have the ability to create a one-time use list. So let's say my printer is no longer working in the office, then I can create a task to buy a new printer. And then I can add additional items. Maybe I want them to take a picture of the receipt. And then I want them to sign off when they, they have finished. Now, as you can see, it shows check mark for all three, but I have the ability to change the item type. So here I'm gonna select on the checkbox and it's gonna show me what options I have available to select from. Not all items are gonna be available here. You will have more options available from the web portal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select photo here. And then we'll go ahead and change this to a signature. And once you're ready, you can go ahead and select the next button. But if you ever need to remove an item or adjust it, there is this edit option up here where you can remove any item as needed or continue to add items if you're ready. From here, you just select next. It'll then prompt you to give you a name. You set when this list will display. You'll set a deadline as well as an expiration. If you'd like to, you can also add a notification here where you can select which roles will get notified. Do you want them to be notified through text or email? And then when the list is overdue or when it's completed, you can also set no notification. Here you have an assignment option available where you can have it available for anyone. It can be assigned to a specific role or to a specific person, and you can even just assign it to yourself if you'd like. From here, once you select done, that list will now display with your items. Now again, this is a one-time use only list, so this is for things that are needed in the moment and not a part of a template. If this is something that needs to be reoccurring, build that on the web portal and then just either manually create it on the fly as needed or set it to a schedule. Now, if you're the one who created the list, if you come up to the three dots here, you'll have the ability to also delete that list. So at any point, if it's no longer needed or it's no longer relevant, maybe you had a printer that you didn't know about that was already purchased, then you can delete that list. It's asking, are you sure once you've deleted it, it'll drop off the device.